Hi there, welcome to Photo Tips. The key to making the perfect wall star all hinges on the picture submitted. If the picture has issues, those issues will be magnified when the photo is enlarged. So I'd like to share a few tips that can help you capture the best photo for creating a wall star. First, let's discuss the camera options. I highly recommend using some form of digital camera over camera phones. Camera phones lack sufficient lenses and focus capabilities that produce fuzzy images. It may look fine on the phone, but when enlarged, you can clearly see all the imperfections. If using a digital camera is not an option, see if you could use a tablet or an iPad if you can. But if a camera phone is all you have, make sure you follow the following guidelines closely. Secondly, make sure the camera is on the highest quality settings. 640 by 480 is not big enough. The pixels need to be at least 1200 or higher, so you can change the quality in the settings menu on the camera. Now that the camera is set, you're ready to snap your photo. The ideal position is to take the picture from a kneeling position. This gives your subject a larger than life appearance when you're shooting up at him. Shooting on top and shooting on a down angle, it squishes the body and the legs, making the wall star look smaller. So shoot from the waist high level. Next, you want to eliminate any dead space around headroom and, and feet room. Get as close to the subject as possible without cutting off any body parts. This will give the photo exceptional detail and a realistic size. When subjects are too far away and then enlarged, they tend to look skinny and vague. So get close. Now it's time to strike an action pose. Unless you have a professional camera with a zoom lens, I strongly recommend to set your subject in some sort of posed action position in front of you. Game photos tend to be far away and have motion blurriness around the hands and feet. So have them do a freeze motion in a controlled environment. It makes for sharp, detailed wall stars. Also, try and keep hands and equipment below the head level. Outstretched arms and bats and equipment reduce the overall size of the wall star and makes the subject look smaller. So remember to keep it tight. Last but not least, check your photos immediately. Make sure the photo is in focus, the entire subject is in the frame, and there's not too much headroom and empty space. Also, remember to look out for hard shadows. You want to take your pictures in sort of a overcast uh, sun setting. Now if you follow these tips, you're guaranteed a fantastic looking wall star. So take your pictures, send them in, and surprise your kids with their own life-size wall star.